Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of um, ID Reacted. We're on 11, right? It's actually been, been a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like two days. <laughs> so, or three days. So, maybe not that long. Um, but yeah, what happened last time? Um, we finished up the Inception world. But moment, mo not moment key. Honda Machi is still in there as Mio. And then we find out that, um, that, um, Anaido was, um, lawn conning us and pretending he was getting wiped every time, but when he, when he was really, um, retaining his memories and he seemed to have a secondary goal of, um, obviously he worked to get, you know, I, I commented this, so. I guess I'll just go with that. I do think it's pretty likely that he was probably just working with John Walker. Because um, we can assume... Well, I already assume that the director is John Walker because he's still the only suspect. But even if you don't, you can assume John Walker is working in the vicinity. So they could have easily um, talked, talked it out, you know? Made up a plan because... Um, Obviously, he wouldn't be able to manipulate um, them into going... And um, by him, I mean Fukudo wouldn't be able to manipulate them into uh, going into um, Akihito's ID. Like I said last episode, I think... Um, I think um, the way they tr tricked um, the team, thinking it was Momoti's ID, is... Maybe taking like the corpse of one of Akihito's victims, because we know he um made a couple inmates commit suicide. They could have just took that corpse and put it over there, and I don't I don't know how exactly um the particle stuff would work like that, but maybe that's a way how they um did that. Sounds pretty good to me. And yeah, that's that's my thoughts. I think I had another idea. I think maybe I think it's. There is the possibility that um, Anaido slash Fukudo is not working with John Walker, and he is... <laughs> it, this one sounds a little less slightly, but it's actually not bad, in my opinion, this idea that he, he just retained his memories he didn't want to tell for maybe using that information in the future. And then he realized they were already in the, in the titles place but he didn't like intend to go into Sataido's ID. Uh, sorry, I keep switching the names Sataido, Akihito stuff. It is kind of confusing when there's two people, huh? Let's just go with their real names then. Um so like what I'm saying basically is while um Fukudo is doing some bat stabbing stuff right now, maybe he wasn't working with John Walker to cause all this. Maybe he just he's just an opportunist like he realized this is Sakai, this is Akihito's world, and then he's like, you know what? I'm just not gonna tell them. I'll fuck around, probably try to interact with Honda Machi since he's really, he's been interested in her for a while. But yeah, those are my ideas. Let's just get into this, dude. So workday reaction. So I'm a little, a little sleepy. Episode 11 is Stormed, which is the event that's happening right now, right? They call it a storm because Akihito's reacting to um, being in his own ID while as Sakaida. We'll see if he can get out of it or if the team can do something about it. Let me just set this up. Bro, they hit you with the title card right away. Guess it's serious business. Um, but, well, oops, I apparently I accidentally exited out. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, See, this is my brain on um, 
after a work day. I, I'm struggling to change the settings. <laughs> All right, there we go. As per usual, timer reaction. I'll be counting down from three. You sync on go. There will be a timer to uh, help you sync. Slash, if you get unsynced, you can just match up the video over there. Um, you also hear a loud click when I when I start the video, so it's easy to sync. And obviously, you gotta get your own copy of the episode. Good, good. Let's get the party started, dude. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Stormed. Okay, so Akihito remembers now. The whole Sakaido thing is broken. Dun, dun, yeah, so that probably means that uh, John Walker is working with Fukudo, which I think was more likely anyways. Though he's a very chaotic individual, so you never know. Maybe We don't know why he's working with uh, John Walker. I think it could just be my idea that he wants to uh, do something with Honda Machi. I don't know exactly what that is. But yeah, let's just enjoy the opening. Got myself a nice glass of water. The classic drink. I already had milk. Because I had some uh, spicy noodles for dinner. Because I finish work at like 11. Then I have dinner then. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Oh. <sighs> Ba, ba, ba. Da, da, da. This is part of that that segment was part of my favorite um of the opening, and then the the part where they actually says Mister Fitzer I think is also really good. Those two segments, which was right there. <laughs> you know my professional J pop rock tastes. But I used to listen to a lot of J-Rock and J-Pop, and mainly the com combination of the two. So, it's nice to hear it again, after a pretty big break. Alright boys, are you gonna, it's time to shine. Like, it's, a, it's the early stages. Lots of uh, first times with the Mizohane program. Also, I realize I have been spelling Ms. Mizohane wrong after reading the subs. Dude, I'm telling you, I bet my prediction's right. Dude, it's not Matsuoka. Though I'm happy they're finally putting in some red herrings on who John Walker could be to like spice up the suspect list. Because they haven't done that yet. Despite trying to establish it's a mystery. And there's only like really one suspect. Okay, let's hear it. Why? Yep, yeah. getting right to it. Okay, probably not about Honda Machi then. Maybe I was looking too into it. <laughs> I 
I'm just can't beat the shit out of you. <laughs> The way Fatuto talked about this situation too also seemed like John Walker was manipulating him rather than it being a partnership. Was it to escape John Walker? That'd be insane. Ah, that's interesting. It's true that Anaido does not have a hole in his head, so he might be thinking differently. Than Futuro. I didn't even think of that. Three. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool aspect. We'll talk about it more later, though, since this is a pretty intense scene. Hey, dude, it's a bird, man. It's the only other life form we've seen, right? It's probably also why Anaido just died early because he doesn't want to count. <gasps> oh my god, that made so much sense. Cool, dude. And Naito's character has literally been, like, fully fleshed out almost in just, uh, just, like, a couple minutes. And I'm pretty satisfied with it, too. Yeah. All of them. Jesus. Okay. We we're definitely going to talk about this. Yeah, they're both gone. Kokafu, he's doing something. Oh shit. Thank you for believing, though I did think you would do a bit more. Though to be fair, they probably just can't. Yeah, if they go back to um Kairu, 
But maybe they don't need to. I don't know how far they deviated. This Tyru handcuff thing was, um... Actually, maybe not. Just the dead body of uh, Satido was here. So maybe they are at this starting point. <laughs> Some weird, weird stuff. Flashing to Honda Machi, I assume. Got to get some tips on John Walker. What would John Walker's be to get caught <laughs> and and killed by Akihito? That'd be funny. Though not all of them die from Akihito, so. Pretty sure you just like trading serial killers and then getting them caught. <laughs> I mean, you just like seeing creating serial killers and dying. And then they die, I think. It's the only pattern that comes to mind immediately. That's a way to... Yeah? Maybe? Maybe I'm right. Facelifter... Ooh. You do know that the face... Wait, did the face lift, it? This lift his own face? I guess he did. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so, okay. Interesting. <laughs> That's cool. It's Sunday. Challenger? Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't have too much of an opinion of John Walker, but that's pretty cool, honestly.
Uh-huh. And go visit Fukuda in this Inception world, huh? Nice. This is cute. <laughs> Looks like Fortuna is still cool in the Inception world. <laughs> you would remember the dates. That's actually so useful, what the heck? <laughs> Holy shit. Then they can check the schedules of uh, the people working in Kura. Kiki. <laughs> Base Fatuda doesn't care. <laughs> oh, well. That's that. I doubt she would check off, um, check off the director. Oh. I love how he's just taking it so easily. So it's not the corpse I did that, which would probably be hard, but no, I was kind of assuming it was the director. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it might be the corpse buried. Oh, wait, no, it is the picture. Oh, a total popping off. It's okay, guys. I was, I, I was down, I was say, oh, does that mean to when she noticed something, I was like, oh, does Toto visit there? <laughs> oh, okay. So just the photo.
Bro, if it's not the director, I will be surprised. Bro! Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have? I mean, we'll talk about it after. Bro, he gave some creepy eyes though. Probably because his eyes are always closed whenever you saw him. Oh, she doesn't remember. Oh, now she remembers. <laughs> oh, tis during the storm. That's why you. Sh okay. Nice. I forgot, yeah, the storm makes her remember. <laughs> nice. But how do they get out of here? That is true, though. Hmm. Actually, never mind. Does it matter? It, it is true. We do, we do know John Walker's identity. But we still need a lot to learn about Kiki and the Mizuhane, I guess. Oh, hey, looking good. Wait, no, she, for some reason I thought she was a mummy, but she wasn't. Bro, it's a hole. <laughs> what are we going to do now, though? Bro, he's done escape. There's no way. I guess he would. He would know as soon as they got out. If they got out. Hello, Johnny. Kyrie's body, probably. Yeah. End episode, yeah. Dude, this was a pretty sick episode. Okay. Lots, lots to talk about. But hmm. first, enjoy the, the ending song, I guess. Dude, the one thing is, though, that's not that important, but I did think the outside crew would actually be, like, very important in, um... And <laughs> letting the greatest detectives escape. But I mean, I guess they were important to the point of finding how they planted um, Akihito's ID. But like in the end, I don't think that matters too much. <laughs> and like the scale of things. But I don't know. I thought they would like do some more. But I guess they couldn't really do much. Because there's a storm going on. True. That made sense. Never mind then.
Okay, okay. First off, good episode, dude. We got a lot of info. Um, and I liked a lot of it, honestly. I guess first we should talk about um, Fukuda and his sort of motivation thing. So it does seem like I was wrong and he wasn't working with John Walker, but he was probably manipulated without knowing. Or maybe he was just using that as a way to die. Because I, I liked his bad story. We didn't really get any hints to him having that disorder. I don't know what they called it, but basically makes you want to count everything. And But it made sense because we haven't really seen a Nido, so there wasn't really a chance to give hints like to build that up. But I think that's fine, dude. And they showed like some hints of that in um in the in the in the <laughs> the desert stuff too, right? So it's not like it was devoid of hints, but actually I actually quite liked that reveal. I thought it was I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> um and the the whole thing about him not having the hole in his head and how I mean I guess that was also something to consider and maybe that's why I liked it even more is because he didn't have a hole in the in his head as a Nido, so and he was talking about how hard the world was without a hole in his head, so I didn't even really connect the dots together, thinking that he would be more of um re he would be reverted to his holeless holeless. <laughs> You know what I mean. Holeless self. So, yeah, I thought that whole uh, sequence was pretty cool. Like, they really just did a great job at um at explaining it. And it was, like, really short, too. So, thumbs up for that. Um, I guess the biggest news was um John Walker. <laughs> hey, guess what? It's the freaking director, dude. Who would have guessed? Now, I don't know, like, how I feel about that. I don't necessarily think it's bad because, you know, not every crime thriller has to have um, a prota or not a protagonist and then the main antagonist to be like a, a mystery with red herrings and stuff, which obviously since they didn't try to set it up at all, it's it was probably not their intention anyway. But the only thing that gets me a little confused that makes me want to harp on the point a bit is um, the fact that they kind of maybe unintentionally set it up as it was supposed to be a mystery who the who the John Walker was because um they, they were like oh it could be one of us in the in the freaking what it what were this what was it called the squad whatever it could be one of us um which made me trigger immediately like okay so they're since they're talking about one of them possibly being John Walker, they'll probably do some investigations. There might be some red airings here and there to make, you know, because if you, if you make that statement and you want people to wonder or wonder who it is, you usually want uh, more than one suspect. But I think, and it comes back to uh, the lack of character development for the side characters, which just that plus no like red herrings made it very easy to um, seem to like John Walker. Not only that, and I this like yeah, just in my opinion, is very easy to um to guess him. I'm actually interested in uh if anyone wants to answer when you're first watching of this um of this sorry, am I moving my webcam? <laughs> um but yeah, on your first watching of this uh series, did you guess John Walker like right away? And I'm not even talking about the visual clues, because I guess sometimes I see stuff that people don't, not not too flats, but I feel like I've done it a couple times, and when I look at other people, they just never notice it. But I think this was pretty easy, right? Like, just the whole, does John Walker just look like the chief? That was my whole point before we even got, like, the, the hints pointing towards him, right? Like, I know it's a big mystery, his face is blurred, but he had white hair. And since we know that, um, unless someone's wearing a wig, because that actual figure of John Walker was accurate to, um, to what the killer saw. So he actually looked somewhat like that, right? So white hair, he even had the freaking little, I don't know if that's what a rat tail is, but 
tiny ponytail slash rat tail thing. He looked he looked exactly like the freaking director. It wasn't even like hiding it at all, in my opinion. So yeah, I don't think the reveal itself was very surprising. I mean, again, they didn't even play it out when they revealed it. He just like picked up the phone. Like I don't I don't think they were. Uh, this is just assumptions, but I don't think they were trying to make it mysterious. They're like. Or trying to like put misdirection or anything, but I think they unintentionally did with how they kind of set it up. So it's a little, little awkward, but, but yeah, I liked Honda Machi's reasoning. I thought it was pretty, pretty nifty. Um, I love, uh, I do like the idea of John Walker's MO so far, um, creating serial killers who kill on a certain day. Like that's, that's actually cool. And you know, it was seven in total, but I think, uh, or not in total. I mean, they were at different times, but yeah, I don't know. I thought that was very cool. I think the show is very, is very good at making serial killers with unique MOs. Not, not that I'm a crime thriller expert. I'm sure some of them have been done. But like I said before, I was really impressed with the Challenger's MO, and I really like John Walker's MO. Those are my probably two favorite um. Mo has motivation for the serial killers, or at least how they do the crime. Um, but despite getting these big pieces of information, again, we're still missing the whole thing. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, like how the Mizohane was created. I think it is John Walker, and probably um, forgot his name, but the the official creator of the Mizohane found um Kiki because she was a psychic, and they've basically studied her to create the Mizohane. And while they were in the process of studying her, John Walker, aka the chief, whose name I don't remember, but it's fine, um sort of also was using her for her own good. Or for his own good to to create a serial killer stuff. So Yeah, I think that's the answer. I don't think there's anything special, um like I don't think they made Kiki have those telepathic powers though i guess they could go down that way which would be interesting i think she was just born with them and they made the whole system based off her rather than like taking her and uh giving her those powers to power the mizohone i think the the first makes more sense so i'm like itchy <laughs> i'm like itchy because allergies plus staying awake but no, I think it was a it was a pretty exciting episode. I, I'm I'm honestly like even though I was kind of I was I don't even think I was dissing John Walker. I just think it was a weirdly executed thing. I kind of enjoyed. I honestly liked him a bit more because of uh, his mo. But yeah, good episode. Good good Anido stuff. You know, he's a he's a weird dude, <laughs> but um, I really like him. He's very charismatic in a weird way which is a compliment um honda machi reasoning all the great detectives put in some good work but yeah i'm interested in seeing where this goes um predictions well we know two episodes left they both have i think part one and two right yeah channeled and channel two um if i have to guess i i mean even though we know the the director, I assume, uh, I assume he will escape, maybe with Kiki, maybe not, though I think they're pairing the Mizohane with Kiki, so if he escapes, they can't go back in, um, that might be the last well, honestly, I was, I was trying to say, maybe they would actually get to go into John Walker's well, maybe after they capture him, um, which could be interesting, but it could also be the last well if he just kidnaps Kiki. And then they're gonna have to do some detective work on the outside. Or I think it might be a mix, like maybe the Mizohane will stop working until they get Kiki back, and once they get Kiki back, they will go into his well to try and um try and use the hints there to find him. I think that's possibly a way to go. But yeah, I'm just trying to wrap it up, dude. <laughs> We can talk about it more in the next episode or whatever. I think I gave my general thoughts. But yeah, solid, solid episode. Probably on the upper, upper half, honestly. I, I enjoyed a lot of it. I enjoyed a lot of, just, just, just good stuff. Good Fukudo development. Good, um, 
good John Water development, technically. You know, he, I, I also appreciate the spooky face um, that he gave when he picked up the phone. <laughs> I just like how they did that, dude. <laughs> like, they no build-up, they just call him, and he's like, oh my god, it's him, who would have guessed? But he gave a spooky face, so it was funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. As you can see in the background, it is... Sorry, it's hard to do. What like it's one oh six a.m. So yeah, I'm gonna gonna pack it in. But thanks for watching as always. Um, next time, see what happens with the chief. Will we catch him, or will he escape? And will he take Kiki with him? Who knows? Yep. See you next time. Bye.